Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, we are talking about living room layouts for hard to decorate and awkward spaces. We're gonna go through them and this first space is actually done really well, but it's a really awkward living room to decorate. Now, what I want you to see here is that this is a space that has a lot of flow moving through it. So here's one view and take a look at the second. You can see we have two arches here that allow you to walk through this space. So it's kind of a hallway almost and it makes it hard to decorate because you can't use two sofas. You have to leave a lot of space for people to move through that. Now, I'm not sure if the original intention of this space was to actually be a living room because you can see in this view, the windows are not centered here and that's because of the bookcase, which looks like an addition to me. So it looks like a dining room someone's turned into a living room, which explains a little bit of that awkward space. Now, what I think is great about this living room is the fact that the sofa has been pushed back against these bookcases. And while you do lose a little bit of storage and you have a little bit of a busier wall behind you, it actually leaves so much of that floor plan open and walkable. What also has been done here is these chairs are pushed into the corners of the room and it means that there's a lot of open space there, but because these are chairs, you're able to pull them up to the sofa when you are entertaining. And when you're not entertaining, you can push them away and you can get through the space, which is really fantastic. Some of the great features about this room are the bookcases and the styling. I love how a lot of these books are turned on their sides and then they're used as kind of bookends to keep the vertical books in place. That's a great way to store a lot of books without it feeling overwhelming. You're kind of breaking up a lot of those lines, which is great. I also am really liking the color scheme that was chosen for this room. We have blue walls here, which you all know I love, and a gray sofa. The chairs are actually this kind of like brown taupey color, which is wonderful, with a gray stool. We have wood tables that are really cohesive with the floors. The rug ties all of that together. Now it is about a size too small. I would have gone with something larger because I want that sofa, at least the front legs of it to be sitting on the rug, but I do really enjoy the pattern that was chosen here. So a living room layout like this, where we have a sofa against a wall with these two chairs that are at angles or they're pushed apart, it means that you can use this as a transitional, a walk through space to get to where you need to be, but you still have the benefits of using that as a living room for entertaining, as a formal living room. You could have even taken a television and put it above one of these chairs in a corner. Then all of a sudden you have a comfortable to use family room. Room, which would also be really beneficial in a space like this. Let's talk about this space because it doesn't seem like it would be difficult to decorate this room. It seems like a pretty basic living room layout, right? Like we have a fireplace in the middle and a window off to the side. You have an empty wall across from that. It's pretty straightforward. But what makes this space difficult to decorate is the usage of it. Is it a living room for entertaining or is it a family room where we're going to be watching television? Not everybody has two rooms to do each of those things separately in. So this is a little bit of both. For me, I am really loving the color scheme that was used here. You know, we have some basic, really soft tone walls. And when you like vibrant colors, that's a good way to go about painting your home. That way you get a space that is a really great neutral base, but then we can layer so much fun into it, like this rug with all of these different colored checkered squares on it and these really bold purple chairs. Also, the sofa is a color that's pulled from the rug. We have pillows on the sofa. I mean, you like, you know how I feel about pillows with writing on it. People are coming for my brand today and that's fine, but I like that we are actually using a lot of color in that. And so it's a really fun color scheme that's happening here. My issue is the placement of the television. So this living room layout actually works fine, but the TV needs to be on the wall behind the chairs. And you know, I like a space that is a little bit more glamorous, a little bit more put together polished. So I would do a frame TV with a frame on it and I'll link those below for you. But in this living room, the way it's laid out now, you're not sitting on the sofa watching the TV. You can't see it. The angle is all wrong. You'd literally have to lay back on the sofa in order to see what's happening on the TV. So the placement of that doesn't make sense with the layout for me. If you're going to use this layout, the TV needs to be on the wall behind these chairs across from the sofa. And if you're sitting in a chair watching the TV, you can pull it out, turn it around and watch the TV that way. Or what needs to happen is the living room layout needs to be completely turned. So the chairs would flank the fireplace and the sofa would be pulled a lot further back. That's the only way you're going to get an angle that's comfortable to watch the TV while you're sitting on the sofa. Also, as a general rule, we just don't like televisions above fireplaces. And in a room that's as beautiful as this, we've got a great fireplace, we've got great bookcases here. Why put a television above the fireplace and distract from all of that? So I'd put a really cool, fun, graphic piece of colorful artwork to tie in more 
of the color scheme together and move that TV to the opposite wall to make this space less of an awkward to use space and more of a beautiful entertainment space that could still be used as a family room. Here's a living room layout that's actually very similar to the last space, but we don't have a central focal point in this room. We have a window and that's kind of the focal point we have going on. There's no fireplace, there's no built-ins, there's not really anything here. And that's totally okay. That actually works really well. This living room has an interesting color scheme. We've got blue and this mustard kind of yellow tone. And I think it actually is kind of fun the way we're making a cohesive feeling. I like the modern rug with transitional style chairs and a modern sofa. I think all of that's really fun. I want you to take a note of the floors here. These are in that kind of gray family. There is a good brown tone to them, but what is really drawing that out in this wood tone flooring is actually the coffee table. You can see it's a really warm toned wood, which makes these rustic kind of slightly gray type floors look less gray and more brown. And that's a good trick to use if you have those floors and don't like them. Now this living room layout is actually pretty good. We have the sofa directly opposite the television, chairs flanking that, and it means you can kind of manipulate and work around the layout by moving the chairs. You can make them straight directly in front of the sofa. You can turn them off to the side and have a really square shaped, but this actually works beautifully to create a focal point on that television. Now I do think we need drapes to really enhance what's happening on this window. You can see that there's blinds here, but then there's nothing outside. So there's not like a house or anything there. It's beautiful landscaping. So get some great drapes there, floor to ceiling, a bold color. That way we are drawing our attention to that. And I think it's wonderful. Some larger artwork, maybe with some of the colors that are happening here would really tie things together. And I'd also bring in a third tone just to create a little bit of an accent. We have blue, we have yellow. And then we have this kind of muddy tone that the walls are, which is pretty, but I think we need a third color, like bring in a little pop of green or something. And I think it would really liven up this space. This next living room is what I would call an attack on my person. Okay, this living room layout is very, very interesting. And we have something happening here that we often see, but is difficult to work with. And that's an angled fireplace. Angled fireplaces can be really good in creating a sense of casualness in a living room and that's what this is doing but they're difficult to work with because they are kind of throwing off the space we like things to be really square we like 90 degree angles and an angled fireplace obviously doesn't have that and it's totally okay but what happens is you have dead space on either side of the fireplace where you really can't put things because they come out at an angle that blocks the view of the fireplace like we have happening here with this sofa. We've created this dead space in front of the fireplace where you can't do anything because of the angle. You can't put a table there, you can't put a lamp there, and you can't see the fireplace from the sofa because of this angle. And you have to be careful when decorating around a cornered fireplace because you can easily put something in front of it that projects out too far and blocks the view of it, which is what's going on with this sofa. So for me, the living room layout is actually just backwards. We have, you can see kind of in the corner of the screen here, we have a television unit that needs to go where the sofa is and the sofa needs to go where that unit is. That way we can see the fireplace, we can see the television from the sofa and because this room is very rectangular, we wanna create length. So I would keep this chair where it is, it matches the sofa and I usually would say don't get a set but I think in this case the sofa and the chair, it's fine to use them together. I would get a different coffee table just because an ottoman doesn't, you know, like you're not setting a drink down on an ottoman and it is it is giving a matchy-matchy feel. So something a little bit different there I think would be great. Also, let's look at upping the size of the rug. We always want that rug to extend under the furniture at least somewhat. And this rug, it's good. I actually like the mix of blues. You know, I have that in my dining room, like a light blue on the wall and then some really rich dark blue and some accessories and furniture. So I like the rug with the wall color. I just think it's too small. Lose the ottoman and then get a coffee table there. I think that makes so much more sense. And I feel like that would actually let more light in because we can see there's a lot of plants in this space and the plants would do better. This one looks a little dead over here, which, you know, I mean, like, listen, it looks like a plant that would be in my house because they don't make it, but this person clearly loves plants. So let's enhance the space, get some more light in there and switch that television and sofa placement around to really enhance and take advantage of this space. Because why have a fireplace if you can't even see it? Now that we've looked at some difficult to decorate and awkward living rooms, be sure to check out this video right here all about some of the best living room layouts for any and every space, and I will see you 
over there.